Monday Night Football is here, a primetime matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs, the New Orleans Saints. I've got three best bets on the way, including a teaser of the day. Let's get into it. This is the Free Three. What's up, guys? Your boy, Noble Living, back with another DYF Bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks and plays of the day. As we're just trying to get to the bag together and we're just trying to make that money. Over the weekend, we did have a pretty good day here on the channel. I do apologize about not having a reel yesterday for you guys. Long weekend for me. It's busy season for me now with DJing all different events going on but overall on Friday and Saturday not too bad of a slate that we had in the college football world we went one in three on Friday not our best but Kyle McCord pass yards that's been cashing in pretty consistently for us we lost on the Sun first half in the WNBA we lost on TCU first half they lost right out and Josh Hoover I mean it's kind of hard to win games when you just have turnovers he two, threw for two interceptions I think they had another like two fumbles just tough tough when you're losing the turnover battle there so one in three on the day on Friday and then on Saturday we had a great college football slate we've been crushing college football this year we went five and two on Saturday Navy team total cash Navy on the spread cash army on the spread those service academies have been paying us well we also cashed in on Cam Ward's pass yards late at night and then Boise State's team total over as well all of those got done our only losses on Saturday came in the SEC Alabama lost outright so that was I mean nobody predicted that and then we lost on our parlay of the days we got two of the three legs right the only leg that we lost was Tennessee in the first half as they were actually trailing in the first half which never really happens three and nothing so six and four weekend here that we had on the channel 27 and 13 in college football that's not too bad that is not too shabby so let's keep that momentum going here today NFL on this Monday slate if you have not smashed that subscribe button I don't know what you're doing if you haven't watched some of the new reels that we've dropped on the channel us interviewing some fans you guys should go check those out too as we get some crazy responses some fun interactions that we've been having with some of the fans we've been going to some of these games with so we're going to be going to different stadiums so make sure you guys are tapping into the, some of the videos that we're going to have here on the channel appreciate all the love and support and let's dive into these winners for today my first best bet of the day in this Monday Night Football matchup, obviously the Saints, obviously the Chiefs are going at it. What are we going with? Right now, the Chiefs are five and a half point favorites in this matchup, and that's probably because they are at home here, and also because the Chiefs have dropped a few games recently after starting off the season two and two, but meanwhile, the Chiefs, although they're 4-0, that's an ugly 4-0. They Week one, they had to win off of a game-winning field goal. Week two, it was a controversial call or whether it was a catch for a touchdown or not with Isaiah Likely. We saw last week they had, had a tough comeback win against the Chargers, and that was truthfully a game they should have lost. So I don't know if the Chiefs are really the best team that we're used to seeing them. Yes, they're winning the games, and that's all that you can ask for. But overall, when you look at the numbers, they haven't been doing too, too hot. 2-1-1 two, one, one against the number this year. Meanwhile, the Saints are 3-1 and one against the number and 2-0 and oh against the number on the road and 2-0 and oh against the number as an underdog. So as a result, my teaser of the day is we're going to bump the Saints up from plus five and a half to plus 11 and a half. We're going to go over that seven key number there. And then I'm going to take the total. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. We're going to go with the over here, minus 120 odds. Now, the reason why I really like the over here in this matchup here, the Chiefs are 2-0 and oh to the over at home. Meanwhile, the Saints are 2-0 and oh to the over on the road. They're 3-1 and one to the over overall this season and 2-0 and oh to the over as an underdog as well. So that's what I'm using to make prediction in this game. I'm just really going after at the numbers here. Derek Carr has experience playing here at Arrowhead. He's two and two against the number in his last four matchups against Kansas City. Keep in mind that when he was on the quarterback against the Raiders, he had to play at Arrowhead at least one time a year. So this is not an unfamiliar territory for him. Last time he played at Arrowhead was back in 22. They only lost that game by one point in that matchup. So for me, with all the injuries that the Chiefs are dealing with right now, their top wide receiver, Rasheed Rice, is out. He's on the injury reserve. We know that they're missing their running back Isaiah Pacheco who's also on injury reserve these are all their big question marks as to what are we going to see from this Chiefs team and considering the fact that they have not covered the number in 12 of the last 17 games against an underdog for me that gives me the confidence to take the Saints here I think the Saints can make this game competitive they've played some really good teams so far this year and they have a really stout run defense top five in the NFL in terms of run defense so that's going to force Patrick Mahomes to throw the ball a lot which is for the Chiefs what you 
want, but you want to do that when you have like a full healthy lineup. Now that we have Travis Kelsey, Xavier Worthy as really the two main guys in that offense, you're going to have to ask for a lot more from Justin Watson and Juju Smith-Susa there. And, with, it's, and for me, I got to see a little bit more from this team. It helps that they're at home this week. So that gives me the confidence to say that they're going to win the game. I just don't know if they're going to win the game minus two and a half, minus three. I don't know. I'm definitely not willing to lay that five and a half number. I think that's a little bit too high, but I'm going to take this 11 and a half point number. I'm going to bump it up here. And I like that here as our pick of the day. The, all the numbers are saying, let's go with the Saints. Let's go with the over. I'm not overthinking it. This is just more of a statistical bet here for me. Let's go with this on the prime time for our first best bet of the day. For my second pick of the day, because of the injuries that the Chiefs are dealing with, I know he's been AWOL. I know he's been missing. People are wondering where has he gone? But at yesterday, when we saw kind of Mark Andrews step up for the Ravens after Jim Harbaugh kind of came out and said like, hey, we're not done. We're not giving up on this all-star type of caliber player that is Mark Andrews. I think Andy Reid is going to do very something similar today with Travis Kelsey. They're going to get him involved at home. And as a result, we're going to go Travis Kelsey over five and a half receptions, minus 110 odds. Yes, I know it's a high number. Yes, I know Travis Kelsey has underperformed this season. But this is the thing. When you're dealing with the injuries that the Chiefs have been dealing with you have to rely on your playmakers you have to rely on the guys who've gotten you to this position and Travis Kelsey is in the truthfully the best position to bounce back why because of what the Saints do the Saints actually suck against not only the pass but also against defending tight ends as well you guys know I'm an Eagles fan if you watched the game two weeks ago Dallas Goddard had a career high 10 receptions to go with like 100 plus yards in that matchup and his big catch is what led to the Eagles actually being able to score the game winning touchdown down late in that game so they can win that game so for me I think Travis Kelsey is going to find creative ways to get the ball today I don't know if I like the yards it's not like 50 and a half 60 somewhere in that range I'm not opposed to it but I think that this is a classic Andy Reid spot Travis Kelsey is going to get a few slip screens we might get a few shovel passes we might get a quick little of like meshes across the middle and then when you keep in mind that the Saints run a lot of cover one through three that's exactly what you need to do to be able to beat this type of defense from a tight end perspective last week Travis Kelsey was targeted about 33 percent of the time which was the season high for him so that's good to see that they are making more of a conscious effort to get him the ball I think that's going to pay dividends again today and then when you also look at some of the other numbers of tight ends that have played against the Saints I just spoke about Dallas Goddard but Luke Shoemaker had six catches two weeks ago against the Saints team so they've shown that they can be susceptible towards the pass towards tight end and this is a Saints pass defense that's ranked ranked bottom 10 in the NFL and there's no other quarterback that I would want to exploit that today than Patrick Mahomes. Taylor Swift will be in the building. Travis Kelsey I'm expecting a big performance from him today. Give me over five and a half receptions as our second pick of the day. For our third and final best bet of the day I'm going to go with another player on the Chiefs here and we're going to go with Mr. Kareem Hunt and I think his number is a little bit too low here. Over 10 and a half carries. I'm willing to play the 11 and a half carries as well. Minus 130 odds on bet MGM. This this number's just a little bit too low, if we're just being honest, okay? I understand that, you know, the Saints have a top five run defense. Teams don't run the ball a lot on the Saints. They have a very tough defensive line there. This is the thing. For the pass to work, you have to have the run game at least be involved. You have to give the threat that you're going to run the ball, even so this way you can set up the play action pass. Last week was Kareem Hunt's first game with the Chiefs in a, in a long time, and truthfully his first game in the NFL since back of December of 2023 and he had 14 carries on 69 yards against the Chargers. So for me, this is a game where I'm saying 11 carries. That's not asking for too, too much. And if you think the Chiefs are going to win this game, that he should be able to get a few extra carries late in the game based on the fact that they might have the ball. Then we're going to try to milk some clock. So 11 carries is not asking a lot at all. Neither is 12. So this is just way too low of a number here for a guy who had an extra week to prepare now, get a little bit more familiar with the offense. And then like I said, Said. They don't really have any other running backs that they can rely on. They have been playing Carson Steele. They've been playing him a little bit um, recently as well. So I think he should get a few touches here. But I think this is Kareem Hunt's backfield primarily. Carson Steele is going to be more of like that third down guy, that close in between the numbers type of guy. But Kareem Hunt, I think that he showed some explosion last week. He was averaging about five yards per carry, which is not too, too shabby. He can also catch the ball out of the backfield. I like this number today a little bit too low as our third and final pick of the day.
Well, that's it for me today, my friends. Three best bets I'm giving you guys on this Monday night football card. Give me the teaser. We're going to bump the Saints up to plus an 11 and a half, and we're going to take the over 37 there. We're going to go with Travis Kelsey, expecting a breakout performance here for him today to get this his regular season really going now. Over five and a half receptions, and then Kareem Hunt over 10 and a half or 11 and a half carries, as I think that they're going to still give him a steady dose of the ball as well today. And then if you guys want an extra bonus pick in the MLB playoffs, I do like the Tigers in the first five. It is a little bit juiced at minus 145 or so, depending on what book you have it at. But we know Tariq Skubal's on the mound. He's been stellar. I like him against the Guardians. I'm not willing to take the Tigers as outright road favorites on the full game, but I do think that they can be winning after the first five innings. So give me the Tigers as a little bonus bet in the first five. That game starts around four o'clock Eastern time. So make sure you guys tap into that as we still have some baseball on deck. I'll be adding a few more plays throughout the day inside the discord group on maybe a one or two baseball winners and then i also like you know the nerfy parlay today between you know both of the games and the yankees game and also the guardians game but i'll be adding a few other plays so if you guys want that click the link in the description join the free discord group and i got y'all all right my friends let's get to that chat and i'll see you on tomorrow's video later game